this video we're going to be seeing that what is the actual Facebook ads structure the campaign structure or whatever the people call so there are three different levels so the first and the foremost thing to understand beautifully this from step by step any beginner can understand this uh, anybody who has just created a Facebook account can also understand this because to explain all of these things I have just created a brand new Facebook account this is a pure dummy account if you go into my friends list there is no friend I've just created this dummy account and when I created this it is October 2019 17th October probably it's like 11 56 p.m. right now so it's it I, I can just say 18th October 2019 and when I click on create all right all you have to do is click on create and you'll see page add group event etc etc so the first and the foremost requirement for running an advertisement before even you jump into the ad structure is having a page so make sure you have a page if you don't have a page if you don't know how to create a page uh, maybe I'll do a separate video for that but for this we'll understand what is the ad structure so I'll click on ad over here and this is for the first of a time uh, once you create one ad then you will have something like ads manager access directly where it would be saying something like manage ads or something like that so check out right over here I don't have anything so I'll just say cross mark and here is this particular account which is being seen and this is purely and purely dummy account so the first thing which I see over here is campaign the second is ad set and the third is advertisement so now campaign these are the three levels basically so campaign what do you mean by this campaign campaign is somewhere where you define the objective objective like whether you want to uh, bring traffic to your website maybe you want to just increase the engagement for your uh, posts which you post on Facebook or maybe Instagram or maybe if you have a video which you want to make viral and you want to just increase the video views then that is one kind of objective or maybe if you have a store for yourself or Shopify store or an e-commerce store and you have a lot of products over there and you want to just un, uh, like like upload a catalog and increase more sales and run ads for that you can do that as well or maybe conversions XYZ so whatever you are seeing over here is the first level so if I click on campaign this is the actual operating area for campaign all right choose your objective and then what's your marketing objective so here is all your marketing objectives so basically these are the types of advertisements second if I click on ad set which I won't be able to because I have to move further from this all right so ad set is something where you choose your audience you choose your placements you choose your budget and schedule audience in the sense you define your targeting whom do you want to target whom do you want to place where do you want to place your advertisements whether on mobile desktop iPad or maybe just mobile and when you say mobile whether you want to place it on just Facebook inside Facebook if you just want to place it on the right hand side when people are viewing your ads or maybe surfing Facebook on desktop XYZ there are plenty of placements which you will go through so that is placement and third is budget and schedule how much do you want to spend every single day or maybe a lifetime budget for your advertisement or your campaign and when do you want to schedule whether you want to just make it run all the time or maybe you want to just have your advertisements run for a couple of hours then maybe break in the night and then reschedule it again and so, uh, so and so so that is something which you define in ad set and the last but not the least level is advertisements where you actually create your ad what is the format of ad so if it is a video campaign whether you want to have a vertical video whether you want to have a, a horizontal video there would be formats you have to upload certain criteria and XYZ and that's where the media comes into picture where you want to upload a video whether you want to run an image ad etc etc and additional creative so we'll go through all these step by step in future videos so these are the three levels now to understand this even better campaign all right so let's suppose if I select traffic over here all right I'll explain in detail later on but so let's say I'll, for the sake of going further I'll click on create uh, I won't change the name I'll click on continue and I'm by default now on ad set and check this out earlier there were only three now there are like almost six different options so this ad set options and the ad options over here depends upon what objective you are selecting so let's suppose if I go back I go back into the campaign and if I select let's say video views all right and now if I go continue check this out the ad set has different options and ad has different options than the earlier ones 
So these two different, uh, these two are the places where the options will depend upon what type of campaign or objective you are selecting. So for the time being, I'll select traffic and let's say I'll move further. I'll click on continue and once I hit continue, I'm able to see traffic over here. Where do you want to send the traffic to website, app or messenger where? Then there is dynamic creative. All these are like advanced things, but this is where the main picture comes into picture where people say targeting. How do you target your ads? How do you target your demographics and all those things? So you can actually upload your custom audience over here and uh, something which we'll be talking a little bit later because this is like detailed. So you can select gender, you can select age, language, locations, detailed targeting where you can select a lot of things like if you click on browse, there are demographics, there is interests and then there is behaviors. So these are the three different segments. Then you can select placements over here. Where do you want to place the advertisements? Uh, Facebook will always tell you, always tell you recommended options as automatic placements. But uh, I generally do edit placements and then, then I select mobile desktop and based upon my experience, I'll select any one of them based on the campaign and objective which I select. Then comes the budget over here, the optimization. And once you have selected everything, you click on continue and that's where you actually create your advertisement. This is where you create your advertisements. All right. So uh, this is just a 10,000 feet overview of understanding like campaign structure. So once you have the campaign inside of one single campaign, you have multiple ad sets. So let's suppose if I have this traffic, then uh, let's say, uh, what do I show? So let's suppose uh, this is like campaign. All right. Or let's say this is Facebook profile, the one which you create normally. Then within Facebook profile, you can create your Facebook ads manager. And now within Facebook ads manager, you can create multiple campaigns. So let's say campaign number one, you can create campaign number two and so on up to like campaign number N. <laughs> All right. Within one single campaign, you can have multiple ad sets. So let's say ad set number one, you can have ad set number two and the list goes on up to ad set number n. Similarly, this will have ad set number one, obviously for this particular one. So let's say I'll call this for campaign one. This is for call uh, campaign two. So let's say I'll add this and I'll add, oops, I will add this. And same goes with uh, this campaign end. And now within one ad set, you can have multiple advertisements, the actual ads. So ad number one, then ad number two, up to ad number N and so on for this, for this, for this, for this, for this, and up to it. So if you see right over here, within one campaign, you can have multiple ad sets. And within every single ad set, you can have multiple advertisements. So let's suppose if you have one campaign, you might have three different ad sets. You might have within individual ad set, 10 different advertisements, All right? So total, you might have 30 different advertisements under one campaign. So this is the campaign structure. I hope you understood this over here. Maybe you can pause this video and take a screenshot of this particular one, which is very simple. And uh, in the next video, we'll go into details about all these things step by step, slowly and steadily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it valuable if you are just a brand newbie into Facebook ads world. And uh, welcome to this playlist.